So when we're fixing a garbage front rack position, what we'll see is that when I try to bring my arms up overhead, it's hard for me to actually turn my palms up without dumping my elbows out. So I also have difficulty with getting those elbows up high without actually having to arch my back or make some sort of compensation somewhere. So as you see, it's really hard for me to get that front rack all the way to the point where the bar can actually rest on my collarbone like we expect it to. So we're gonna try this mobilization and see what works for it. So I'm gonna take my band, I'm gonna hook it in my arm. I'm going to actually get in that front rack position and I'm going to hook my foot right into the bottom of that band. I'm gonna bring it up behind my shoulder. I'm gonna get my elbow up on top of my bar and that way that's gonna allow me to actually get that elbow up a little higher now the band is actually producing this force to pull my wrist and my elbow back a little further and keep me in this externally rotated position on my shoulder. I'm gonna start adding in some resistance by actually pushing through that band and then lightening it by letting go and pushing back into it, leaning in a little further. So I'm getting that stretch through my lat, my tricep. The band is pulling on my elbow and my wrist all at the same time. So this way I can take a little break in that position, pull back down, leg pushes a little bit into that elbow flexion. I can let my wrist go back into a little bit more extension, let my fingers wiggle some. Hold that, release, and we're gonna repeat. Each time I go down, I'm gonna try to go a little further. I'm gonna try to get my elbow up a little higher. I'm gonna try to drop my chest down a little bit lower, and we're just gonna try to work further and further back behind my body. We're gonna do repetitions of this for about a minute. Or if some part of your arm decides that it doesn't wanna do that anymore. I'm also working my wrist a little bit into this pronation, trying to turn my thumb out. So going back to our retest, after doing that stretch on my left arm, what we're gonna see now is I come back up into that front rack position, I get back into that pronated position here, and now you can easily see that I've got a lot more flexion and mobility on my left arm than my right. So now it's time to repeat this on my right side and we're gonna see how much better we do. Now, as you can see, I've got a much improved front rack position. I can actually rest that bar pretty comfortably right on my clavicle there. It's still gonna take some work. It's gonna be consistent work on this every single day just to try to keep working at it, but that tissue will respond to that consistent work that you put into it, and you will see those improvements working on this on even for a two-week period. You'll be surprised at how much better that rack is gonna get.